For question number 27, the hypothesis that the rocks now on the surface were once buried in the soil in the mounds is supported by which of the studies? In study 1, we see that the geologist moved rocks from sorted circle border to the center of the surface of the soil mound. And by the next winter, the rocks had moved back to the border. And the surface of the mound was slightly higher than it had been during the thaw. So we see that there is no vertical movement by the rock. There is horizontal movement on the surface. So if they were once buried or no, it's not supported by study 1. Study 2 talks about liquid and how it rises and it sinks out here in figure 3. And no reference of a rock is made as such. Hence, study 2 also does not support the hypothesis. Study 3 states that a rock was buried at a known depth and after it had been frozen and thawed, the soil had been frozen and thawed in the container, four times the rock was three centimeters above its original position. So we can see some form of vertical movement by the rock. So if it was once buried in the soil and now it is on the surface is because of study three as it shows vertical upward movement by the rock. Hence option C which is study three, study three is the correct answer.